500 feet, turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Good morning, everyone. July 1st, 2024. This is going to be our test loop to the Home Depot. Now turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. This is an older test loop we did a long time ago. Um, it has this left onto Plum Canyon. It's not too busy right now. Left is clear. It's creeping forward. Right is clear. It can go right now if it goes. Okay, there we go. We've got cars coming from both ways, but it's lots of room. So this test loop uh, tests our left turns, unprotected lefts, and also some interesting decisions it's got to make as we arrive at the Home Depot. In 500 feet, turn right onto Golden Valley Road. Now turn right onto Golden Valley Road. second so it should start decelerating which it is or very lightly decelerating there we go now it's good. I think it saw the car before the red light hesitating on the acceleration there it goes does need to get in the left lane in the next mile. Turn left onto New Hall Ranch Road. Okay, we need to get right into that right lane. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Valley Center Drive. Okay, now this right turn onto Valley Center, it's a right turn with a quick merge.
gonna squeeze over like these now other turn cars. Now right onto Valley Center Drive. Follow that car. There you go. Going slow, but slow and cautious. It could accelerate here. I've got a truck right behind me. It's taking its time. Okay, it's not doing a proper signal with Merge. The truck behind me is actually getting irritated. It's got to get in the left lane here, and we should be doing a little faster. Come on, signal for the left lane. It's going to get itself stuck. In 500 there it goes. feet, turn left onto Solid and Canyon Road. Now turn left onto Solid and Canyon Road. Okay, so this, this right turn at the upcoming next light looks, so it, it wants to make a left and then right into the Home Depot. So it's got to cross w over two lanes to get into that left turn lane very quickly and cross train tracks. It needs to get over one. Okay. In 500 feet, turn right onto Luther Avenue. So we got to yield to this bike. Now turn right onto Luther Avenue. Doing excellent. Now it should just go make this right turn and go right into that left turn lane. There, come on, one more over. Now turn there we left go. onto Golden Triangle Road. Managed to do it. So it's gonna to have to tuck in behind this truck. There we go. And then it's a right turn into the Home Depot here. Now your destination is on the right. In 500 feet, turn right onto Luther Avenue. Okay, now back to our start point. Oh, doesn't want to turn. I'm just gonna have to take it over there. Wanted to go at this exit, so I'm waiting till the snaps over here. Now turn right onto Luther Avenue. I 
Gosh, is that locked up? There we go, yeah. That uh, map isn't updating. Okay, it needs to move over into this lane. I guess it could technically stay in that lane. Okay, now it needs to stop here. Excellent. Don't move. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to stop on the tracks. Excellent. Accelerating as the car in front of me did. Nice left turn. Just got to move two lanes over for the right. Be nice to see it accelerating a little faster here, but it's the traffic is actually permitting this slower acceleration. Turn right onto Valley Center Drive. Nice transition over to make the turn in plenty of time. Valley Center Drive. Should just make this right turn, and then it's got to get, it's got to merge, and then it has to move into the left lane. Okay, so it's just cutting over. No, at least it turned the turn signal on briefly. So it does need to move over one more lane. We've got traffic behind us that's coming up and entering the left lane as well. So it's going to leave this lane again. I can see it. In 500 feet, turn left onto Golden Valley Road. To move over, this Lexus is right. Here's this is a right turn lane, so it's now cutting over late. Thankfully, the car behind us is leaving room. Nope, it's cutting that lane. There's a car behind me. I didn't want it to switch lanes there. The vehicle was lane changing during the left turn. That was a safety intervention in my mind because there was a vehicle in that lane right behind me and it was cutting the turn. Okay, nice right turn entry into the right turn lane. It should ignore the stop and okay, it should watch this traffic. There we go. Now it does have a dedicated lane, so it should go. It sh I'm pushing it because it go. It has a dedicated lane with merge. There we go. So still
still need some polish with that test loop. Doing a lot better though than previous builds. It couldn't handle the tracks and lane changes and it could never handle the outbound from Home Depot crossing the tracks in the left turn. Also that right turn with a dedicated uh, lane and merge, it, it's always had trouble with that. Curious to see what it does here with the left turn on the Plum Canyon, 1.6 miles. be in the left lane here until after that turn because of the efficiency of not having to decelerate and accelerate again. I can just go up the left lane and the transition right further up. That's just knowledge of this area and personal preference. It does need to get into the left lane for this upcoming left turn anyway. change to make a left turn to make back into the right lane. So it's still having issues with lane selection here. Now it's going to get over to the right again. So unnecessary lane changes is my mind. It did it safely. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto via Joyce Drive. Okay, it should get into this. The guy behind me wasn't willing to wait and got into the left lane. There we go. So FSD supervised 12.4.2 on our Home Depot test loop. This is still a bug too. It's accelerating too much in this neighborhood. 